show your support and enter the competition. Simply follow, subscribe and comment. Hello, I am That British Guy and welcome to another booking video. However, this video is slightly different. Instead of booking a storyline um, with sort of a feud and a culmination at, say, a big four pay-per-view like I have done in the past, what I'm going to be doing this time is booking the Evolution pay-per-view from start to finish. Now, a little caveat before we begin. I am filming this right after SummerSlam. So obviously Ronda Rousey has just won the Raw Women's Championship. Charlotte has just won the SmackDown Live Women's Championship. And Kyrie Sane has just won the NXT Women's Championship. We also have the finals of the Mae Young Classic filmed and confirmed. However, what I will not be doing is taking any of the booking sort of from there onwards that WWE have already done, any matches that have been confirmed, aka Alexa Bliss versus Trish Stratus, or anything that's been rumoured like Ronda Rousey versus Nikki Bella, anything like that. Obviously, if anything does get confirmed after uh, I've filmed this, then there's not really anything I can do. I'm filming this a little bit ahead of time because I'm going way. So with that out of the way, the opening match is going to kind of be a showpiece sort of match and it is going to be a battle royal but specifically um, it's a way of getting as many NXT stars on the card as we physically can obviously we're going to have the NXT title um, later on in the night but this is just another way of kind of promoting as many NXT stars that we can possibly get without having loads of sort of six man tags or um, like fatal four way matches that don't really mean anything. And so, what we're going to have is the likes of Shane and Baszler in this match. Uh, we'll chuck in the other two four horsewomen competitors, Jessamine Duke and Marina Shafir, in there as well. Um, it just gives them a, a decent platform, even though they are sort of very new to um, the business. Also filling that out will be the likes of Candice LeRae, Lacey Evans, Vanessa Bourne, Aaliyah, people like that. Um, just so that we can get sort of 10 to, to 12, maybe 15 tops. Ideally sort of 10 to 12 NXT uh, stars on that half of it. And on the other half is going to be uh, returning sort of legends and retired uh, superstars. Again, this just gets as many of those on the card as possible. Um, essentially sort of what we got at the uh, Royal Rumble match. So we'll get the likes of uh, Tori Wilson coming back, Stacey Keebler, Lita, Molly Holly, uh, Beth Phoenix, Ivory and Jacqueline if we can get those sort of thrown in there as well again balancing that out so that we have sort of 10 to 12 and once the match is just about to start we will hear the music of Santino Morella or as he's going to be in this match Santina and he's going to come out with his crown that he got um, for the Miss Wrestlemania Battle Royal decked out in exactly the same outfit um, the Titan Tron is just going to be kind of images and, and video footage of him winning that, eliminating various different people in that match and obviously being crowned the winner. And when he gets into the ring, everyone is going to be kind of staring daggers at him. Hopefully this will kind of put the crowd on edge slightly, thinking that maybe they're going to do a repeat of last time. And basically the uh, legends are going to kind of step back and the NXT stars are going to absolutely pulverise him um, slams, submission moves, things like that, double team manoeuvres for about 30 seconds or so before throwing him over the top rope and eliminating him first just kind of putting to bed uh, that final nail in the coffin of that's what the women's division was seen as and this is what it is sort of moving forward so after he's been eliminated we just get kind of the usual um, fairly fast and frantic eliminations here and there um, with the three horsewomen kind of working together to protect each other and make sure that they last until the last four along with Beth 
Phoenix. Now a little aside here, when I was first planning this, um, I was under the assumption that Shayna Baszler was going to retain her NXT title um, at TakeOver, and therefore the winner of this match was going to be Beth Phoenix. Because um, I thought that would be quite a nice, interesting matchup and a bit of a new sort of challenge for Baszler to face. However, because Sane has taken the belt from her, what we're going to have here is Beth Phoenix managing to eliminate Duke and Shafir so that it is down to her and Baszler. And Baszler does ultimately win this battle royal and essentially grant herself a rematch for the NXT women's title a little bit later in the night. So after this we are going to have the semi-finals of a tournament to crown the first ever women's tag team champions. Now this was announced at Hell in a Cell, at least in this version of events, and the belts are presented at Hell in a Cell and it is kind of made that Raw is going to have two sort of qualifying matches and SmackDown will have two qualifying matches and sort of the, the finals of those are going to be at the beginning of Evolution so that we will have one team from Raw facing off against one team from SmackDown a little bit later in the night. So from the essentially the Raw half of things we will have Sasha Banks and Bailey who in their first round match defeated Mickey James and Alicia Fox and they will be taking on the Riot Squad who in their first round match defeated Ember Moon and Nia Jax and in this match Sasha and Bailey will be victorious and will be representing Raw in the official finals later on in the night. On the Smackdown side of things we will have the Iconics who beat Lana and Naomi in their qualifying match and they will be facing off against the Bella Twins who beat Mandy Rose and Sonya Deville in their qualifying match. And in this side of things we will have the Iconics take the victory. So we have later on in the night Sasha and Bailey versus the Iconics for the tag team titles. Now we have our first title match and it will be for the NXT UK women's title. Now because of who is in the Mae Young Classic final that will kind of lead into who um, is in this match. So to avoid spoilers for that if you are still unaware of who is qualified for the Mae Young Classic final and I don't want to spoil that in this video um, obviously we'll have that match a bit later but that's kind of dictated slightly who is going to be in this match um, because of the other match. So the two competitors in this match are as follows. If you kind of don't want to know because that might uh, let you know who's going to be in the Mae Young Classic Finals then um, I would suggest you look away in 3, 2, 1. And they are gone. Spoiler free again. Next up we have a kind of a classic grudge match basically. It will be Mickey James taking on Trish Stratus and all of their kind of history um, from way back in the day all the way back to I think it was WrestleMania 23 when Mickey was kind of finally able to uh, kind of slay Trish and uh, kind of take some of the spotlight from her. Obviously we know uh, come the actual show unfortunately we won't be getting this match we will be getting Trish Stratus versus Alexa Bliss but to be honest I think this is a much better match. Um, it's certainly going to be more interesting from a storytelling perspective because they actually have some kind of history with each other whereas Trish and Alexa have not even crossed paths as far as I'm aware um, so it's just going to basically be an exhibition match. And what I hope Evolution doesn't become um, is just Legends taking on the uh, kind of newer stars. That's really why I kind of wanted to put them all in the Battle Royal match. Because I don't want sort of Lita versus Sasha and Beth Phoenix versus Naomi. And the kids, they're all just complete throwaway matches with absolutely no stakes to them. Um, and... It, 
basically all you're then going to get is a few title matches here and there, most of which the titles probably won't even change because it'll kind of be seen almost like a house show and I didn't want to kind of book into that. So that's why we're going to be getting Mickey versus Trish instead. So now we have the NXT title match. Uh, it's Kyrie Sane facing off against the winner of that battle royal, Shayna Baszler, and she comes to the ring with Duke and Shafir. And this poses quite a nice new challenge for Kyrie Sane, just to sort of build upon her ruthlessness that she was showing at TakeOver, and she does manage to retain her NXT women's title even with kind of the uh, outside shenanigans, uh, bits and pieces going on with the two women at ringside. It does actually get to a point where they actually get themselves ejected and it's kind of this that becomes Baszler's undoing because she gets so worked up about this that she gets sort of caught off guard by Kyrie Sane who manages to pin her and pick up the win. Next up we have the Smackdown Live women's title match. Now, Charlotte is still the champion in this kind of storyline. She will defend her title against Carmella, uh, probably at Hell in a Cell, something like that, um, which will be her contractually obligated rematch, and will retain that. And Becky will face off against Carmella at Super Showdown, for a number one contender spot and basically gets the chance to face off against Charlotte one on one for the belt here at Evolution. And this is when we finally crown Becky. Um, now when everything sort of happened after SummerSlam I was very vocal on Twitter, I don't think it was the right way to go, but again that is the way that uh, they book things. They possibly could do kind of a double turn switch but I don't think they're going to it seems like they're really wanting to paint Becky as the heel here um, so we're gonna kind of keep down that avenue although personally I think that was the wrong way to go I think that um, she should have just kind of snapped she had um, a reason to do what she did and still remain a face um, possibly even with Becky kind of belittling her and calling her out for being a failure and for needing so many chances and look at me, I'm Charlotte Flair, I can just get myself into contention straight away and win the belt because I am better than you. That would have been a much more interesting storyline, it would have put the face heel dynamic, uh, kind of align it better because I think Charlotte is a better heel than she is a face. I've got nothing wrong with Becky being a heel. But when people were so behind her, and when Charlotte is so much better as a heel, it, that would have made more sense. But essentially we are going to keep with the booking that we have been given here. But we are going to make sure that Becky takes the belt at Evolution. Because it seems like it's time for her to be on top of the mountain. So we come to the Tag Team Tournament Final. Sasha and Bailey from Raw against the Iconics from Smackdown Live and although they've kind of only just got together and it seems like this whole thing is kind of built uh, for them I'm going to be giving the win to the Iconics here they are an established team at least uh, Sasha and Bailey kind of feel like they've been thrown together they don't really need this um, opportunity the Iconics do because they're kind of floundering slightly they're getting a few wins here and there but the fact that they have been a team since they were in NXT and have come up as a team it makes sense for them to kind of hold these belts also they seem more credible if what the rumours have been swirling around these belts that technically don't even exist yet we're just going to assume that they will do by evolution um, then there's been talk that these belts are going to kind of travel from brand to brand. Um, so Sasha and Bailey will get an opportunity at them, as will the likes of the Riot Squad, as will Mickey and Alicia if they are teaming up, if they're still kind of in cahoots with Alexa Bliss, um, as well as, say, Lana and Naomi, who seem to be a team on SmackDown, and... Um, Sonya and Mandy as well on Smackdown but there's also been talk of them going to NXT as well so that will give a good opportunity for the NXT stars to 
fight for these titles as well. And the Iconics seem better suited to going back down to NXT with them. Almost to kind of rub it in everybody's faces. Look, we got sort of the call up to the main roster. Look how great we're doing up there. We've got these belts um, and we're going to kind of challenge you guys and prove that we're better than you. Um, so it kind of gets them over um, in more of a way than just coming out and taking the mickey out of people. It kind of gives them a bit of credibility. So we've only got two matches left. Uh, the main event will be for the Raw Women's Championship, but before that we will have the Mae Young Classic Final. And again, no spoilers here, I will show up on screen who actually is in the final of this, so this is obviously completely out of my hands. Um, so if you don't want to know who is going to be in the final of that, please look away in 3, 2, 1. And they are gone as well. So, main event time, the Raw Women's Champion, of course, Ronda Rousey, will be defending her belt against Alexa Bliss and Natalia in a triple threat match. Now, how does Natalia feature into this, you might wonder? Well, come the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view where Alexa Bliss gets her contractually obligated rematch, um, Ronda is able to win that match. Um, and Nia is kind of still on Ronda's side and is kind of acting as cheerleader essentially and at the Super Showdown we will have Ronda Rousey and Natalia teaming up and they will take on Alexa Bliss and Mickey James. Now Ronda will kind of do most of the uh, work after the hot tag with Natalia kind of being beaten down and essentially it then all sort of focuses in on Ronda Rousey when they win that match. And that is then when Natalia can on Raw afterwards, or possibly even after the match itself, try and attack Ronda and uh, kind of call her out for this. Um, and the fact that Natalia has kind of been holding her hand and showing her the ropes and not getting the, the, the respect that she deserves for that. Um, she can kind of turn against Ronda and get herself inserted into this uh, match. Alexa Bliss, obviously still having gripes as well, manages to weasel her way into contendership still. Um, and because we have a triple threat here, it kind of changes the dynamic slightly. Obviously, it means that Ronda's at her most vulnerable because she could lose her belt without being pinned. Um, and adding Natalia into the match as well, she can kind of command most of the match, um, at least in terms of um, planning it and um, essentially being the ring general because obviously she's got a lot more experience than Alexa and Ronda has. But ultimately, obviously Ronda manages to come out on top by making Natalia tap out to the armbar. So there we go, that is my version of the Evolution pay-per-view, right from the first match to the main event, including winners of all the matches. Now I hope the show itself will be a very, very good one. Um, I'm a bit concerned about the Trish and Alexa match being booked. I kind of don't really feel anything for it at all. Hopefully they'll be able to whether Trish comes back in some capacity to kind of build up to that. Maybe she's at the Super Showdown beforehand, I don't know. But it seems a bit weird having those two in a match when they've not even encountered each other yet. And also the Ronda Nikki rumours. I can kind of see why, because Nikki is obviously a big name, but she's hardly the best wrestler that they have. And I think at this stage Ronda needs to be in the ring with competent people just to kind of see her through her matches still um yes she is very impressive for what she does but the kind of the basics she's still needing to learn um so putting her in the ring with somebody who was never all that great anyway and who has been away for quite a while seems a bit of a risky move to me so that's kind of why I want to keep away from that booking and I just don't think the crowd is going to be particularly interested in it hopefully that isn't the match we get but uh, we'll see 
So yes, what do you think of um, my booking of the Evolution pay-per-view? What would you do slightly different? Please let me know in the comments below. I will be back soon with more videos, but until then, I've been that British guy, and I will see you very soon. Goodbye.